What is up, my friends? Jesse with Just Fan Sports Cards. Going to do a review of the Auburn, California card show. Happened this past Saturday. Uh, sports Great card side, video was the there. Yeah. Saw some PMGs, red ones, the gorgeous in hand. A lot of rare autos. Um, I picked up a super, super rare Michael Jordan. One in 1,500 packs is the pull rate on it. Uh, so, very cool show overall. And then at the end of the video, I'll give a recap of the stuff I picked up. And we'll jump into it. What is up, my friends? Jesse with Just Man Sports Cards. We're at the Auburn uh, Card Trading Show. Here's the side room. It's a little cool over here. Not a small room. I dug through some dollar boxes. They have a concession thing, which is pretty cool. Super cheap food, too. Uh, here's from the kind of front door. It's like a, just a smaller hall. I think. Uh, Juan, who sets it up, this is the front. He said he has 55 tables. Last time he's gonna do it here. Next venue is gonna be 120 tables. The sports car radio guys are over there. So I'll go say hi in a bit. And I'm easy to work with. If they come back with a number that you like, and just let me know. Okay, do you have a card? Chris, he's one of the guys that uh, hosts the Sacramento show. So I noticed the 08, you can see the X-Factor there. So that'd be one of the deals that I showed that I worked out later. And then I dug through his dollar boxes. And then this is typically uh, the other Chris. He's always in vintage and he's one of the guys that uh, the Sacramento show sets it up. So you can see it's died down quite a bit. Uh, which is nice, because now it's easier to walk around. It's been like two hours later. Yeah, the air feels great. It's brutal in this facility, man. I was talking with the guys over in the other room, and they're like, we would pay for a fan. If someone brought one in, we'd, we'd buy it off of them. Yeah. I have to rethink it. Uh, summer uh, shows here at this venue, it's too hot. He said it's his last one here. He's yeah. moving it. I think he's going to move it to a hotel. This is smart. This place is nice, but it's too cheap. Yeah, yeah. A little outdated. Matt Tolish. Is he bald? No, he's dark here. Dark here. Uh, Yogi Bear, Auto. Here's as you pull in. Parking lot was packed. I'm leaving right now. It's about 2:10. I'd say it's about a quarter of the, the crowd in the, there's parking in the back and it's about emptied out so uh, probably a good idea coming up later I got here like 11 uh, so the crowds had died down a little bit and then I was able to, to be more efficient at the show so mostly raw stuff that I picked up um, probably spent a little more on the graded card we'll do the graded card last um, they're doing some free packs for kids at the door uh, he had enough of them that one, the organizer gave me one. Um, so pick this up from the same seller. There was a lot of people that don't normally set up, so they actually had some decent raw. Um, this is about going rate. This is a little cheaper. Um, obviously no taxes, no shipping. So uh, I just let go of one of my Tani rookies. Um, got this. I'm trying to remember how I, the deal I did. I got these from them. I got this from them. I got this from them. And then let's see if I had any other cards from that same person. Okay, so I don't remember how I did it. I picked up these two first and I did it for 20 bucks. And then I found these later when I came back through and then I just I paid full for these. So I got these. Uh, 20 so $35 for these four cards so 
two Jordans, Tommy, and then um, if this grades a nine or a ten, it's it's a money maker. I'll have to check it out later. Some football, so we'll go over the. This was in the same lot. Uh, this is 2017 Prism. Uh, why that's a big deal is it's Mahomes' rookie year. So trying to buy a box of this is, you basically can't open this product anymore because it's so expensive. Um, he just had these in the dollar bin. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I'll look at these and then grade them for, wait till it's 15 bucks, and then I think they're $30 cards if they 10. Uh, so that's a possible win there. Um, this was hard to find a comp on. It's an atomic. You can see it there. So these, I just know the rarity on these and people collect them. So got these uh, four cards for $10. That's a win. Um, and then <clears throat> same seller. Uh, this is actually the first deal that I did with them. He had like a four row box of 08 Chrome. Uh, he let me look through that and then he had all the refractors and x fractors pulled out. Uh, the Garnet, um, fairly centered. You can tell it's a refractor and then these all say on this set. Rodman's not quite centered, so it's in like probably a nine, all things considered. Refractor. Um, I don't have this one. The nines go really cheap, so I think it's just maybe not the best picture of them. Refractor. He had some orange refractors too. I'm just not that big into them. Uh, this is the X Fractor. It's harder to tell on the wilt, but this is pretty well centered. Um, and then they say X Fractor, and then the X Fractors are out of 288. Uh, McGrady. McGrady, I, I won't send him for grading. I've looked it over, and uh, it's an 8 or a 9. And then the Duncan was what I was really after. I think I had in my head if I could get it for 140 this lot, it would be a steal. Um, so he came up with price, it was 200. So then I just kind of met him in the middle at 175. Uh, if I can get, um, I mean, the McGrady, if this tens, it's like a $350, $400 card. So this one won't tend. So I might just sell it raw and then this I'll probably grade. The Magic, I won't grade. The Rodman, I. Probably will not grade either. It's just soft center. And then the Garnet, I'll give a shot at grading. Um, so the Garnet and the Duncan are probably long term. I'll open the pack at the end of the video too. Seven. Uh, so I don't buy a lot of sevens, but I had literally never seen this card. Um, so then I tried to find a comp for it. Uh, this is what he had for it, not what I paid for it. I'm not going to say what I paid for it, but if you really, really, really want to know, reach out to me on Instagram and I'll share what I, what I paid. But, um, so went back and forth. Uh, then I, I finally came up with a price I was fair with and then kind of met him in the middle. I uh, got the deal done. Rare Jordan, I don't think it's ever going to go down. Uh, these don't pop up that often. And these are 1 in 1,500 packs. So that's why you don't see them too often. Uh, these are some of the next shows coming up. Uh, Sacramento one's a good one to go to, especially if you're into vintage. Um, what else did I see at the show? Uh, a good mix of everything. Vintage, modern. There were some wrestling cards there. Uh, so basically anything that you were into uh, was there. Decent amount of rare autos. Um, and then just a lot of dealers that I don't always see set up at shows. Um, which is which is always a plus because then you're seeing inventory that you don't always see. I kind of hate like pulling on them because then I feel like that pulls on the corners of the card. But 
We'll see if we got anything. Opening day. This is like a really, really cheap set, I'm pretty sure. Not much of a baseball, modern baseball. Maze. Kershaw. Ramirez. So nothing colored or numbered, so that's what it is. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe on your way out, and I'll catch you guys later. I forgot to mention, as I was recapping, I did meet uh, Ryan and Colin from Sports Guard Radio. They were super nice. Uh, we just chit-chatted. I didn't buy anything off of them. They had already sold a decent amount of stuff. They were pretty happy with coming to the show. Um, just normal guys. Uh, I think some people are curious if they're like big personalities, but... Uh, they just seem like normal people to me, so and good people. Um, so I don't think they mean any malice on the like, card community. If anything, I think it's it's good on calling out some of the bad behavior, and there needs to be a voice out there like that. Uh, and then talking with most of the dealers, I think the tables were pretty cheap. Um, I think most of them were pretty happy with their sales, so they probably made back their table cost and a little more over that. And by the time I was leaving, I showed up at like 11 something. Um, I knew it was going to be a smaller show, so I wouldn't need as much time. And then I didn't feel like showing up right when it opened up and, and fighting with the crowds. Uh, so that was a good move on my part. But by the time I was leaving at 2, 2.30, most of the crowd had cleared. So I imagine by 3, 3.30, the dealers were probably packing up and some of them were probably leaving, would be my guess. Uh, so that's my wrap-up on meeting Sports Card Radio. Um will continue to support their channel and things they do. And that's it. Later.